Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your differential is going bad? The first common sign is going to be some sort of noise coming from the back end. For example, if the rear differential is making noise, the most common sign is going to be some sort of howling noise. If you hear a howling noise, it's going to sound like this. And as you are driving and the vehicle's pickup speed, is that noise is going to start to increase as well. The next common sign is going to be some sort of grinding noise. It's going to sound like It sounds like something's either broken inside the uh, differential or something's extremely worn. The next common sign is going to be humming noise or whining noise. It's going to sound something like this. And as you are driving pick up speed, that noise is going to get louder. It's going to be like So when you hear these noises, usually it's caused by bad or worn carrier bearing, a pinion bearing, or ring and pinion bearing. So when this component starts to fail, you're going to notice some sort of drivability issue. For example, when you are turning either left or right, you're going to notice that you're going to have some sort of turning issue when either turning left or right. The next common sign is going to be vibration. You're going to notice strong vibration coming from the differential area, especially when you're turning left or right. Usually this can be caused by some sort of uh, gear issue. For example, the gear could be completely worn or maybe there's a teeth that's broken off somewhere and so on. If multiple teeth on the gear are completely worn or let's just say many of them have broken off, it's very dangerous because now you can actually lose control while driving. The main reason why differential tends to fail is going to be lack of maintenance. So if you do not change your differential uh, oil or gear oil or differential fluid or gear loop, however people call it, it's going to cause the uh, differential to start to overheat because now the differential oil can no longer uh, function properly. It is important to change your differential oil or gear oil or fluid or gear loop every 30 to 60,000 miles because again if you do not maintain it it's going to cause these gear to work harder and overheat faster in most cases if you are doing a lot of towing or you do a lot of um, carrying like heavy materials again you got to check that differential oil and make sure you change it more often maybe more at 25,000 miles to 30,000 miles so changing that differential oil or gear oil is extremely simple all you need to do is to drain the uh, uh, differential oil right here at the drain plug. If there is no drain plug, most likely you're just going to have to take out the cover over here and you have to change the gasket afterward. And once you are done, all you need is a transfer pump and all you got to do is just pump the uh, gear oil back into the fill plug. You're going to keep pumping until you see the oil start to leak out over here. So basically, basically it's going to be about around that level right there. You're probably wondering what type of gear oil you need. So the most common one is going to be 75W90. And the next one is going to be like 75W85 or 75W110. The next common reason why your differential fail is going to be leaks. So basically you have gasket over here that goes all around here. And it's going to start leaking right at the gasket. Once, once it starts to leak around the gasket, you're going to have severe uh, oil leak. The next common area is going to be this drain plug over here. If this drain plug is stripped, again, it's going to cause that uh, gear oil to leak out. So what I like to do if that you have a bolt that's kind of stripped, you either replace it or you can put a lot of silicone on it and put back in the drain plug. The next common reason why a differential fell is going to be water inside the differential. So if you got a truck and you drive over like a puddle of water, there's a good chance that water can find itself through the sill or vent and go straight into the differential and cause it to wear out. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.